Hi Year 4, I hope you're all well. We have made it. So we have made it to the final Friday of this half term. It has been a very, very strange half term and it's actually felt like a very, very long half term. It seems like it's been ages since we've all seen each other and we've all been in a classroom together. But it has been really nice seeing everyone on the Zoom every morning. So thank you for joining us. Hopefully you have also been enjoying the fitness sessions. I would love to hear your feedback um, on how you are finding the fitness sessions. It is fantastic to see so many of you joining in every morning. It's a nice way to wake up in the morning and to get us ready for a hard day of learning. So thank you for joining the fitness sessions. Now, first of all, I want to celebrate some work. So this week, the Lockdown Learner of the Week is actually May. Okay, the reason that I have picked May is because every time I receive her work, I am absolutely amazed by the amount of work that she has done and also the presentation. If I show you her book, she has actually finished this book. It is fully finished, so I'm having to give her a new book now, which shows me how hard she has been working. But if you have a look, it's, it's the wrong way around in the camera, but you can see how beautifully presented her work is. Everything is neatly um, dated, there's a learning objective, her handwriting is beautiful, even when her maths is being done, it's beautifully presented, all her worksheets, she actually sticks them in herself, which saves me a lot of time. It is honestly just a pleasure to mark. It's just so beautiful. And even other than just a presentation, her work is fantastic. You can see that there are, I don't know if you can pick it up in the camera, there's lots of pink ticks everywhere. And you will also see some comments that I have written for her because I'm honestly really, really proud of everything that she has done. So thank you so much, May, for working so hard. You have now finished one book and I will be giving you a new one. So well done, May. Now, in terms of your learning, so your packs are going to be collected on Friday, the 12th of February, which is a Friday before we break up for half term. Now, the packs that you are collecting, they're not for you to do over half term. They are for you to do the first week back when school reopens. Um, activities for you to do, be doing over half term will be available on the newsletter so they are all screen free activities where you don't need your devices there's a lot of fun activities in there for you to do they will be on the newsletter so please do them over half term and your packs that you collect please do this the first day back after we have done our zoom call so what have you got on the timetable so our theme this half term is actually animals. So remember how last half term we were looking at inspirational people? We are now looking at animals. So everything that we do, I will try to link it to animals in some way. That is the reason why in English, we are going to be looking at a short book, which is called The Wolves in the Wall. So that is linking to our theme of animals. It's a very mysterious story. And we will be doing some writing towards that where we will actually be writing our own stories at the end of it. So all your English lessons, first week back, will be to do with the walls in the wall. All your activities have been printed off and they are available in your pack. So that's a page from the walls in the wall. I've actually taken some of the pages out for you so you can see them. Um, yeah, so anything that you need has been printed and is in your packs. It will also be available on the school website from the Monday that we come back. Your maths that you will be doing this week is Roman numerals. Now, every time I have taught Roman numerals, the children love doing Roman numerals because they find it a bit like a game. It's a bit like cracking a code. Different symbols are used for different numbers. So all of your lessons on Roman numerals will be available on the school website. Your lesson PowerPoints will be on there. And I believe that your questions are not actually worksheets this week. They will be available on the PowerPoint and you will answer them in your books. For Reciprocal Read, you will be looking at The Jungle Book, a very interesting story, but quite a difficult read. So I have picked a few pages from The Jungle Book and that is your Reciprocal Read that you will be doing over the week. And for your foundation subjects, we will be doing some RE. So all week, we will be looking at Christianity. So there are some lessons there on parables, 
you'll be looking at the Beatitudes, you'll be looking at what the I Am sayings are, so we'll be learning all about Christianity. Okay? And obviously you have your normal handwriting and spellings to complete, you will also have some number facts and a GPS test for you to complete as well. So, before I leave you, can I just say thank you for working so hard this half term. Um, you have all been working exceptionally hard. Thank you to parents and carers for helping you with your home learning. Can we just remember to attend our Zoom calls every morning at 9.15? A lot of our class are, but there are a few individuals who are not. Remember the Zoom call every morning will go through the activities for the day and will answer any questions that you may have. So please do attend them. They are really useful and they have been including our fitness sessions. And just a final reminder that the learning parts that you collect on Friday this week are for the week commencing the 22nd of February. Have a lovely half-term break and I will see you on our Zoom call on Monday the 22nd of February at 9.15. Take care everyone. Bye.